One of the critical requirements of making a rotor coil properly is that the conductor is not a continuous cylinder, um, single diameter gauge conductor like 24 gauge. I wanted to make it uh, called, it's called a changing aspect ratio, like a wavy bow tie. In other words, it expands at the outer diameter of the OD, it's the maximum, and at the ID at the center of the coil, it's the maximum contract, contraction. So the conductor actually expands and contracts in a giant snake, like a python, like an S-curve. And that does something to the electricity and for efficiency because everything has to be elastic, everything expands and contracts, including numbers, including the skin of the rodent core, the toroid number map. So then, so I always wanted to make it out of a plasma. And then the energization is, is I had one circuit on at a time. Although technically all the two circuits in the gap space might be another way of making it to energize it. And I didn't want to do an output that's a takeoff. I wanted them to be closed circuits. They're like a, a, a cellotron. Uh, a cyclotron. And so the way they're doing it today with the input and the output, I don't like that. I don't like the takeoffs. Um, there's other ways to energize it to, through inductance. Of course, you have to get the, I wanted to do it with an ionized gas, a plasma, like argon, and get the gas going in opposite directions. Um, and anyway, once you make this device correctly, it's the sort, it's like creating the rays of the sun from, a, from an atom. It's, it's the source of all power. You could go anywhere with it, it's portable, it's unexhaustible, unexhaustible electricity. The fact that all the rodent coils have done so many different things that they've applied it to, that it's always had significantly greater results than a conventional coil, greater magnetic inductance, things like that, it's just still they haven't barely tapped into the full potential of what this can do. Um, the ultimate application or potential is, is that you can produce unexhaustible electricity. You can stop using petroleum or nuclear. Yeah, applied to microbiology, you can end all diseases. Because my, my favorite work on this is showing that DNA is made out of phosphates and that this mathematical equation that I have, this funny, simple, actually is, is the basis for life. Hmm. Okay. And so when you look at DNA, I show the major groove is occupied with a higher dimensional flux field. And people postulated its existence. They called it a morphogenetic field, a biotheric template, um, intelligent design. And so sure enough, flux fields and all coherent intelligence through flux fields guides all evolution. That indeed you can actually accomplish anything with life. Because this is the secret of cleavage and receptor sites, of, ge of genetic sequencing, through flux fields. Not through pepets and not through cleavage through force the way they do it today, but through higher dimensional energies. And that's really how life communicates. All right, that's everything. <laughs>